Hey guys, so we're gonna talk. <clears throat> I'm gonna test this some more. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna compare and contrast um, deterrence. The difference between general deterrence and specific deterrence, and why deterrence doesn't really seem to work. And this is mostly like opinion. Um, yeah, so let me know if you guys agree by commenting. Right. One of the many ideas to help prevent crimes and punish offenders is that of deterrence. Deterrence's focus is to punish the offender in such a way as to make them not want to offend again. Within this idea, there's two subdivisions, uh, general and specific. General deterrence is directed at the general population, um, citing the punishment that will happen if one is not follow that particular set of rules or laws. Specific deterrence focuses on a specific individual for that crime that they have committed, so it's after the crime. While general is like, if you do this, this is what's going to happen to you. This is what could happen to you. Um, generally speaking, deterrence does not work because of three reasons. The first one is that in many cases, the, com the crime goes unpunished because of like backlog and stuff. Um, another is that the re reward is greater than the risk. So for like stealing, stealing food or money is greater than the risk of if you're homeless and you steal food. The reward of getting that food is better, greater than the risk of being put in prison because in prison you know you'll have a bed. That'll be a crappy bed, but you know you'll have a bed and you'll know you'll have at least one meal a day. Um, and the third is necessity as in that last example. So that's our quick little thing on deterrence and criminal justice and let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you next time.